everyone, you have Kim Turntastic. It is Saturday. My name is Kai, and I just got done taking a shower, so my hair is a little wet. And I'm wearing a hoodie, even though it's hot as hell outside. Um, but all my clothes are in the dryer. So anyway, this week's topic is actually packing a suitcase, which I'm about to pack a bag right now to go to my dad's house. So relevant. Uh, now, I do a few different things when I go to pack. Uh, if I'm going on a very long trip, you know, I definitely bring a pretty big bag, but I think it's important to know how you're gonna travel. If you're gonna travel by plane, maybe best to pack lighter. You know, if you're gonna travel by car, you can bring a bigger suitcase. If I'm traveling by plane, I usually have one bag that has my like, carry-on stuff. If I have to, if I can't check both bags, I have two small bags, one has my laptop and my books and everything I'm going to need to be entertained on the plane, and the other one has all my junk in it. Another thing is I always make sure to pack any kind of um, bathroom products, so toothpaste and toothbrushes and all of that, in Ziploc bags, that way none of it will burst and get all over your stuff. And yeah, I also like to, when I fold clothes, I like to take them and then roll them. And I found this trick online, I don't know if anyone's been seeing it, it's like how they pack, um, it's one day worth of clothes and you can pack it into something that's about this big. Um, and I think it's like a, something that's used in the military, so if you take the clothes and you put them a certain way, and you put the socks on the end, and then you roll it all together, you can actually wrap a whole day's worth of clothes in a sock. So that was a pretty cool trick I learned. I think it's definitely important to think about what weather you're going to be in, of course, you know, do I need a hoodie, do I need this, do I need that. It's very annoying to pack large jackets, I've learned. It's very, very annoying, because they usually take up a lot of space. One thing I used to have when I was little and I would have to travel a lot is I had this weird little pouch thing, and it looked like a bear, and it had an inflatable pillow inside, but it also you could fit an entire, it had this like blanket that I came with. You could fit the blanket inside the head of the bear or inflate the pillow so you could have a pillow and a blanket. So I thought that was pretty cool and pretty helpful. Um, you can bring snacks when you go on a plane. I suggest doing that because airplane food and airplane snacks are expensive. Uh, this is going to be a short video because there's not much to say in packing a suitcase. Um, yeah, just make sure you bring things to entertain yourself and make sure you fold your clothes nicely and always pack your shoes in a different bag. Always. Or not, or put them in a plastic bag beforehand and then put them in your bag because you don't want your shoes getting all your other clothes messy. It also helps to divide your clean and your messy clothes. So, that'll be my video for today. Please subscribe to FDM Transastic because they're awesome and check out everybody else's videos. And one thing I want to do at the end of my videos now is I want to give a little shout out to someone who consistently comments on my videos every week and just someone who I recognize because they're always commenting. So today I'm going to shout out my friend Tate and he comments on nearly all my YouTube videos so I wanted to say hey to Tate and enjoy watching this video. Alright, I'll see who I'm going to talk about next week. Um, Alright, bye guys.